We've still got nine more contestants itching to get into that hot seat, so here's the next fastest finger question. With these John Williams film scores in the order, they won a Grammy Award starting with the earliest. Superman, Star Wars, E.T., Jaws. Okay, everybody finished. Time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest. It was Jaws. Then came Star Wars. Superman, E.T., that's the order. Let's see who got it right. And in the fastest time, Marty Anderson. Marty! Jesus. Marty, you did it! Thanks. You're all set. Here. All right, ready to play? I'm ready Come to play. Come on, let's do it! So here is Marty Anderson, 28 years old, from Alexandria, Virginia. And what, uh, where is your lovely uh, wife? She is home with our son. He's seven months old. Seven and months she old. To stay home with him. This is her birthday too, isn't it? Yes, it is my wife's birthday today. Well, welcome to the show, Marty. Good luck to you. You know the rules. You know about our lifelines. 50-50. Ask the audience. Phone a friend. Everything is there. So if you're ready, Marty, let's get into it. Okay, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? And we meet it. All right, Marty. For one hundred dollars, here it is. According to the popular expression, "All spare in love and what?" Would it be money? War, baseball, charades. We just, I believe the answer is B, all's fair in love and war. He says war, he's right for a hundred bucks. Two hundred dollars. On most alarm clocks, what button allows you to sleep a little longer? Panic, eject, snooze, help. Well, Regis, I'm trying not to press the panic button right now. <laughs> I think the correct answer is C, the snooze button. He's right, it's snooze. He won $200. We're going for $300. Here it is. What words complete the title of a Dr. Seuss book that starts one fish, two fish, red fish, green fish, blue fish, gold fish, shark? <laughs> Baby's a little young for those Dr. Seuss books, huh? My wife reads to him. Good. Yes, I'm starting him early. I just, I think I know this one. I also know that I'm not positive, so I think that I would like to ask the audience. All right, audience, we need a little help here from Marty. On your keypads using ABC or D, please vote now. Seventy-nine percent feel it's bluefish. That's what I thought. I will agree with the audience. Be bluefish. Yes, indeed. They're right. You're right. You won it. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> we go now for five hundred dollars. Here it is. What will you find in a can of chock full of nuts? Tomatoes, cocoa, peanut butter, coffee. Regis, I think the answer is B, coffee. It's a good one. You want $500. <laughs> Going for $1,000 right now. Which of the following is a type of memory loss? Is it amnesia, alopecia, altruism, acrophobia? Regis, I believe a type of memory loss is A, amnesia. You're right. You want $1,000. All right, Marty, just 10 questions away from a million. We're going for the $2,000 question. Here it is. A green jacket is awarded to the winner of what major golf tournament? The British Open, the U.S. Open, the Masters, the PGA Championship. The green jacket is awarded to the winner of C, the Masters. You a golfer? No. No patience for it. All right. Final answer? Final answer is C. You got it. The Masters, $2,000. All right, Marty settling down nicely here. We're looking at the $4,000 question. Here it is. Who was found murdered on the first episode of this TV series, Twin Peaks? Donna Hayward, Laura Palmer, 
Audrey Horn, the log lady. I never watched the show myself, but I believe I remember hearing an awful lot about the murder of B, Laura Palmer. Laura Palmer. Laura Palmer. Final answer. That's my final answer. Yeah, it was Laura Palmer. You won $4,000. Marty on a roll. We're going up to $8,000 now, and this is what it looks like. What color does litmus paper turn when it comes in contact with a strong acid? Red, green, yellow, blue. I once worked in a laboratory, actually, so I should know this. I think I am going to go with A, red. Final answer? You still have two lifelines, Marty, if you need them. 50-50, phone a friend. Didn't want to do this this early, but I've seen a lot of people go out too early lately. I think I think I'm gonna have to call a friend. Okay, who would that be? I think I will call Victor. Victor is? He is an old college buddy. All right, an old college mate of yours. Our friends at AT&T will find Victor, get him on the line. Maybe he can help. Hello, Victor. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin here from ABC's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hi, Regis. How you doing? Good. I'm here with Marty. He needs some help. Okay. He's won 4,000. He's going for 8,000 right now. He's going to read you a question and then the four possible answers. One of them is the correct answer, okay? Okay. So the next voice you hear will be Marty's. Marty, you got 30 seconds. They start right now. Vic, what color does litmus paper turn when it comes in contact with a strong acid? Is it red, green, yellow or blue i'm i'm gonna say blue uh red green they're usually pink or blue um d blue um i'm pretty confident with that You're pretty confident of that yeah uh, i would go with blue all right if you're fairly confident i'm trusting you yep okay thanks okay all right well he was my science lifeline so i'm gonna go with victor i'm gonna say d blue when you started this, you were thinking maybe it was red. I was thinking red, but I wasn't that confident uh -huh. about it. Okay. He seemed Victor a lot says, more certain than I was. Sure. Victor says blue. Mm -hmm. That's going to be your final answer? I think that's going to be my final answer, Regis. Wow, what a night. The answer is red. The answer is red. Can you believe it? <laughs> Marty, I'm sorry. You go home with $1,000, and it was nice having you here, and good Thank luck you. to you. Too bad. Victor. Got to get that Victor. Oh, yeah. oh, boy. What's happening tonight? Can't believe it. We just can't seem to get anything going tonight, but at this rate, all 10 contestants are going to get a chance to get into that hot seat.